welcome to the third part of Introduction to Canvas. So today we're going to be setting up your profile. Um, we're going to be looking at the forum, submitting an assignment, completing a quiz and viewing tutor feedback. So to begin with, I'm going to set up my profile. I'm here in the dashboard and then on the left hand menu, I'm going to go up to account and then down to profile. And then edit profile on the right hand side and we can put in some information. So I'm an e-learning designer and in my biography I might want to say what I'm interested in. I'm interested in fishing, oops, fishing, uh, oops, I'm not typing very well today, um, cheeses of the world and NPQ candidates. Then I'm going to upload a new photo, choose a picture, choose one that I've already got ready for my desktop. Here's me at my desk with Gemma, who's one of our assessment coordinators. There we are. And then down to the bottom, you can put in a link to your workplace if you're interested in that. You obviously know where I work. Save profile. So that is the first thing you need to do to enable you to contribute to a forum. So the next thing we're going to look at is actually writing in a forum. So we'll go back to the dashboard and enter the course. And then we'll go down to discussions. This is the first discussion you're going to take part in, which is the welcome forum. Down here, introduce yourself, where you live and work, why you aspire to be a leader, something else about yourself. So, my name is Lizzie. I work at Best Practice. I aspire to lead. Um, blah, blah, blah. Okay. And then when you finish writing your post, post reply, and there we are. The other thing that you can do is if you click these little dots, you can edit if you do make any mistakes and then make changes. And then when you're happy, click done. And there you are. Uh, you can also come up here to mark as read and you can subscribe or unsubscribe to get emails from other people posting in the group. So the next thing we'll do is submit an assignment, an ordinary assignment as opposed to ePortfolio. So I'll come back over to the left, click on assignments and scroll down to an appropriate project Strategy and Improvement, Core Task 1. Here we are. Here's the activity, links to resources, and at the top, the big pink button says Submit Assignment. Click there, and you'll see a tab comes up at the bottom to choose a file. So this button here, Choose File, navigate to where you would like your file, which in this case is on my desktop. School Improvement Library. Submit assignment. Okay. And it will upload and your tutor will be notified. I can resubmit an assignment and I'll show you a different way to do it. A text entry. And let me go to my document. Copy all the text. back down and paste it all in to this box under text entry and submit assignment. Okay and one more way of doing it is to resubmit assignment, come to the Google Docs tab and you can authorize Google Drive access by clicking that button there 
and it will take you to your Google account to sign in and authorize. The thing that we're going to do is to complete a quiz. So scroll back to the top to assignments. I'll just ignore that. Yes, leave. And here is the list of all the assignments and we're going to find the first quiz. The very first item is identifying your mentor. I've actually completed this quiz already, so I'm going to click resume survey this button. You will see it as begin survey. Here we are. This is easy. Provide the name and address, email and phone number of your mentor. That's what I would fill in there. And what is their relationship to you? Whatever you'd like to fill in there, scroll down. And please ensure your mentor has sent a copy and then submit quiz. It is that easy. There we are. And some of the quizzes you can take again with this button here. Some of them are graded, you will not be able to.